Hey folks, welcome back to the Vegas Dunn channel. We're here on the eastern side of town. I'll let you figure it out as to where this house could be. I don't want to put it out there. But um, this is the house used in the movie Casino, the 1995 movie Casino, used by Sam Rothstein, Rothstein, which was the character portrayed by Robert De Niro. Very cool stuff on this golf course here. I'm not sure what the golf course name is, but uh, there's a few of them over here on the east side of town, east of the Las Vegas Strip. That's pretty much the dividing line between west and east anyway. So I uh, wanted to show you this, especially to you movie buffs out there, to start off our video. I'm a movie buff myself, so I kind of like that stuff. I find it very interesting, very cool. We're going to go ahead and take off out of here now. Head back to the main drag. That is just cool stuff. And there's a lot of that. I need to do a video. I will be doing a video, actually, very soon of um, spots where they've filmed here in Vegas. There are several all over town. I, um, I need to make sure that I have my cheat sheet with me so I can quickly reference it there on the dash and make sure that uh, I get everything right. Like the uh, Park MGM, which is the former Monte Carlo. That was the, um, the movie Dodgeball was filmed there, or at least parts of it were. So it's just good stuff. It's always good stuff to know and uh, maybe try and find a, a shot from the film that you can take a picture or selfie of yourself of in that same spot as one of your favorite actors may have been. That's always fun, in my humble opinion. We have like a medical office of some sort over here across the street. Southwest 737 overhead taking off from the uh, International Airport. Temperature outside reached 97 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 37 degrees Celsius. Gonna make a right here at this light. And head westbound. And in fact, right in front of us, you can see the link or, well, the link behind the link where the high roller is, and that is the high roller, the Ferris wheel. In the distance there, in the haze, let's see if I can zoom in on it. There, there it is, in its glory. Right in front of us. So that's kind of cool to see that big Ferris wheel looking thing up there. Well, they call it the high roller, of course, but. a metro unit headed the other way. And there's a, a, a juice stand of some sort up here. On the corner ahead. We're going to make a right at this intersection here. This is Spencer and Viking your juice stand available there for your thirst quenching needs. Got a little Corolla here that wants to uh, turn. There we go. Now heading northbound on Spencer. I'm gonna go ahead and get over behind the Corolla, which may not be a good idea. I guess I'm about to find out. There's a little wash we're going over here. But they don't name them. At least they don't have signs for them, so I don't know. Oh God, he's got no third brake light there on the left. Now heading west on Katie, K-E, K-A-T-I-E. Here on the east side of town. And another school over here. 228 elementary schools here as furnished by the, uh, one of the pillars of our community. 7-Eleven man. Shout out to 7-Eleven man. I think this is an elementary school here. I'm sorry, it's a middle school. And it looks a lot like a, uh, a spaceship. They actually have another one of these up in North Las Vegas too. You may recall from one of our earlier videos off of uh, Cary, C-A-R-E-Y.
one bed, one bath, fully, just says fully remodeled. Over on the left there, in front of some apartment buildings. This is going to bring us up here to Maryland Parkway, which is a pretty major north-south artery here throughout Las Vegas. It does get broken up once or twice, I believe. And in fact, by the airport, I think is one of them. One of the areas that gets broken up. And again, as the uh, case was we've seen with other major thoroughfares here in town, you've got st uh, school kids attempting to cross busy thoroughfares here like they are here at Maryland Parkway and Katy. There's a shopping center back here behind us with a Party City and a Best Buy. Whoops, that's not gonna show. There you go, Best Buy, Five Below, Party City, Ross. And then there's a Bonds grocery store on the other side of the intersection here, just behind that auto zone in the distance. We will wait our turn here. And as soon as I said that, we got the green light. So now proceeding westbound on Katy. And they've got all these school kids here crossing the same time we are, but there's no crossing guards out here. A very perplexing question as to why for me. I don't know. The emoji screen is up there now on the sphere. I'm not sure if it's going to come out in the video, but uh, he looks north and south, really, and we're, we're uh, east of him. You're not going to be able to make him out. This is Cambridge Street, where we will make a left. I wanted to show you some of the uh, area in here along Cambridge as we go southbound here on Cambridge. Cambridge intersects Flamingo up here, Flamingo Road, which is, of course, a major east west artery in town. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you some of the area in here because you're coming into the UNLV complex, University of Nevada, Las Vegas, which is a major four-year university here. You got some uh, apartment buildings over here off to the right. They are called Katie Court. This is a right turn lane. That guy did not stop. Wow. What stop sign? I didn't see no stop sign. Got some people crossing the street here. A lot of bars. And I don't mean the good kind where you can go and take your mind off your troubles. I mean these kinds of bars on in front of uh, property lines, in front of doors, in front of windows. You see that all over the place in this area here. $500 off and one month rent, free rent up here at this apartment building here at the corner of Twain and Cambridge. And we're about to lose this light. There is uh, pedestrian traffic. Oh, I was wrong. Okay. My bad. Now heading westbound here on Twain. You see a sphere immediately there in front of us. Which brings us up here to Twain Swenson Plaza. It's named that because the intersection, the road we're about to intersect here. Wow, they were just going to keep walking. And they're not in a crossing zone. Your stop liquor here on the right. So University Center Drive right here, this used to be uh, Swenson. And I've had a lot of, lot of requests from folks, a lot of comments from folks asking me to please film the area around Swenson and Twain. Well, this is Twain, but it is now known as University Center Drive. And there's a 7-Eleven right there. Shout out to 7-Eleven, man. Looks like they're dealing phones, free phones out there underneath that little tent in front of the 7-Eleven that used to have gas, but I guess they pulled out their gas pumps for whatever reason. We're gonna wait for our turn here at University Center, AKA Swenson. We've got the green light here. Over here on the left, you've got a uh, Vegas market. It says one cent poker, video poker that is. 
right there. Some more apartment buildings here, undoubtedly to house a lot of the working population for the strip. Right back here. We're going to make a left on this street here. Had a special request from a viewer to show Royal Crest Street. And so here we are on Royal Crest Street, just south of Twain. Got a plane flying overhead there. Casting a pretty big shadow. Royal Crust Street. A lot of on-street parking here, I bet. In fact, because of all these apartments, parking is probably at a premium in here. This is Northrop Avenue, which curves over here eastbound, now eastbound on Northrop, and it looks like this is an alley here, and again this is a mile maybe east of the Las Vegas Strip, the world famous Las Vegas Strip. local government really appears to just kind of put all of its resources into the strip and protecting the casinos and not much else in my humble opinion although they do put a lot of money into Las Vegas Paving Corporation because all the roads are always torn up so this is behind Royal Crest and some of the apartment buildings on Royal Crest This brings us back out here to Twain. We're going to make a right here on to Twain. Which will bring us over here to Hazelwood. And we'll make a left onto Hazelwood. Show you the little cul-de-sac in here. And uh, got a UPS truck. I will turn around. Very busy airport. I think it's the eighth most, eighth busiest airport Las Vegas is in the country or the world, one of those. I saw it in the paper once and I totally forgot. But it's something like that. I know 7-Eleven man, 7-Eleven man's got my back. He'll let me know. We will uh, try and get out here when we have a break in the traffic, which appears to be right now. So now heading back eastbound on Twain. We're gonna come back up here and make a left onto University Center Drive. Again, this is Swenson, formerly known as Swenson. And you know this because up there in the upper left, the sign says Twain Swenson Plaza. A lot of requests from folks requesting videos of this neighborhood and this intersection. You've got a Lefty Jay's bar over here. There's a lot of bars here in this town. And that's because there's a lot of gaming. And the gaming folks, they want you making poor financial decisions. In my humble opinion. And what's a better way to make people make poor financial decisions than to liquor them up? And that's why you got to keep your head on a swivel in this town because it's a 24-7 town. You don't know who, just, who was just out drinking their whole paycheck away. Now heading northbound here on Swenson, formerly Swenson, now University Center Drive. This is going to bring us up here to Royal Crest Circle. Had a special request from a very supportive viewer for Royal, Royal Crest Circle. So here we are, and it is in fact a circle. This is a stop sign, so I will stay here. Casablanca Condominiums there. On the left, you 
you have a huge empty desert dirt lot over here no clearly marked lane so I guess there's only one Alexander Villas there in front of us and all of this in the shadow of the wind and Palazzo right there in front of us and these signs say rolling green drive Brookway Lane and Fernwood Lane but it's gated in there and I can't get in otherwise I would uh, explore that for our viewer see the back side of this condominium plaza here on the right here we've got Willow Green Delfern and Oak Brook another gated community this is Palos Verdes Street which goes out to Twain just south of us and again this is Royal Crest Circle which makes a circle here just west of University Center or Swenson. It used to be known as Swenson. RV park there. More apartments. Lining the roadway there. And there's actually a Hampton Inn up there too. On the corner. That looks new actually very very much for joining us we really appreciate each and every single one of you please do like follow and subscribe to us on youtube and tiktok if you haven't already it helps recommend us to other viewers on youtube and tiktok so please make your, your voices known and heard and it helps the algorithm as well because the algorithm then picks up what you like and your voice carries that much more weight especially when you like follow share and subscribe so please do especially if you like what you've uh, what you've just seen and uh also check out our vegas don merch available on the vegas don channel on youtube with the Biggest Don logo on top of the Las Vegas Strip skyline. Something for yourself or maybe your significant other for the upcoming holiday season. And as always, remember here on the Vegas Don channel, it's the journey. We'll see you next time, folks. Thanks for cruising with us.